Second last on the programme, we're back on the all-weather for race number nine, a very competitive Class 3 contest over the 1,200 metres, headed by Joyful Moments, fourth course and distance, last time out behind Big Time Baby. Superman um, in that race as well, finished in second place. Strathclyde and Superwise, both behind Born to Achieve. Good companion, tries the dirt for the first time. Amazing moment behind Born to Achieve. Iron Boy coming out of the Big Time Baby race. Uh, pick number one goes up in class. He was uh, beaten as favourite last time out and down to endearing, who is behind pick number Number one, last time out, has got an eight pound turnaround with him. All right, uh, let's have a look at the speed here. And pick number one and Strathclyde look the two to bounce forward and match engines early. Amazing moments come up with a, a much better barrier on this occasion. He can box seat and good companion can roll forward from the 12. I don't think he's got the pace to cross Strathclyde or pick number one. So they'll roll early and uh, I think they'll be difficult to get past, but those back in the field will have their chance to close as well. The pace will be solid. Yeah, good race this one. I like this race. Um, Jade Theatre has been going nicely on the surface. He'll make his all-weather debut on it. Uh, Zach Purden, interesting, he did ride pick number one last start, but who is to come up short prize favourite? He is riding a Jade Theatre from Barrier 2, but pick number one has got 118. That might have something to do with it. Superwise have made my horse to follow um, after his last all-weather run, and, I, and I'm going to stick with him as well. I've got him in the numbers once again. His track work's been pretty good. He's pretty keen in the mornings, as he normally is. But I, he did catch the eye, he finished off uh, nicely at his last start. Pick number one's number 21, they're closest to us. You can see he's just going nicely. Now he's only had the two starts, most impressive one on the dirt, and then went to the turf. Coming back to the dirt, I think he's better on the dirt, and Pandas are green here at yeah. $2.10, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. If those other two horses win, that Ping High Star and um, Amazing, Amazing Star, star. He'll start dollar fifty or anything. Yeah, every chance. All right. Well, let's start off. We'll come back to him in a second. We'll start off with uh, Strathclyde. He was beaten last time out um, as favourites. Um, Superwise and uh, Amazing Moment in behind. Yeah, you can see this. This is the the race that I made Superwise the horse to follow off because he was well back actually last on the turn and finished off really nicely here for fifth. Uh, Strathclyde had his chance. He got run down by, by Born to Achieve on this occasion. Uh, but he'll run well once again. I've got him in the. I've got them both in the numbers. These two. Uh, I've got Strathclyde in definitely. I, I love the way he just he just dashed away and then born to achieve was able to cut him back with a, a lightish weight. There's a big gap back to third. So um, I, I think Strathclyde can potentially test pick number one when the whips are cracking in the stretch. All right, those look like mm. the big two. Let's have a look at uh, Superman, um, runner up last time out, but um, he can bob up and he has done this season already. Good honest horse, isn't he, Superman? Um, He's had four wins and eight minors, and the uh, majority of his earnings has come on this surface. He can just lack that little bit of pace early, but he just keeps grinding away. I mean, here, look at him. He's fifth, sixth. He, you could easily see him not running a place, and he end up, ends up getting second. So just shows you how tough he is. Um, Joyful Moments has got a claim going back on again. He'll roll forward. He wasn't far away either. Um, I think you can consider both of them for the exotics. Yeah, it's that type of race. There's plenty of chances, I think. And, mm. uh, you know, they didn't make the final cut, but uh, they could easily have. All right, I'm sure this horse did, though. Pick number one. Uh, he won on debut, and that's the race we'll have a look at, because it's on the dirt. He was then beaten on the turf, but um, Zach Purton rode him on this occasion, jumped to the front and just dictated. Yeah, I really liked him this day. It, it worked him in very, very good leading into this particular contest. He did start a $2-odd favourite in the race but he won like it as well. So coming back to the surface, he didn't disgrace last time, but, but ran a really nice second. And I think back on the surface, look, it's just, I like him. Yeah, he's definitely a nice horse. I just sort of look at the time he recorded here, one nine thirty three, and Strathclyde ran second last start to a born to achieve in one eight seventy seven. So there's a bit of a difference there between the times between the two, but Strathclyde's got more weight to carry and uh, both of them are progressive, so I think it might be a good battle between the two. All right, and Deering was closing there as well. He's got mm. an eight-pound turnaround yeah. with him, so an interesting race here, Paul. Yeah, this is uh, it's a really nice race, actually. It's but one of the best races. These last two races are really good. Uh, pick number one, though, on top for me. I, I think back on the surface, he can win. Super wise, we'll, we'll just put him in between uh, him and Strathclyde because I really like the way he hit the line, and that was only his uh, second start on the all-weather. So uh, back on that surface, he's sticking with it. And he's a nice price, 15 and $4. And Jade Theatre, first time on the surface, nice barrier, barrier number two. A horse who's got plenty of ability as well, so snuck him in there for four. So went 11, 5, 4 and 2. But with pick number one coming up at 2.10, you look at exotics around him, I think. 
Not much to adjust for the graphics man here. Same for just a slight little tweak. Uh, 11452 instead of Paul's 11542. I do think Strathclyde can test pick number one. And looking at the discrepancy in price, you know, maybe the four might be the way to go each way. But I've gone with the 11 because he's got the pull and the weights over the four, five. Jade Theatre looks ready to win. If this was on the turf, I'd probably tip him to beat the lot. Uh, Trio 411. Double banker with two, five, and I'll throw in Amazing Moment with a better draw for a place chance. All right, any of the other horses, obviously, haven't come up in your tips. The only difference for me um, is in Deering. I thought with that eight-pound yeah. turnaround, he might be at a, mm. just a minor spot, but he's, he's worth a shout at a, at a place. Another yeah. one with a big price is um, Intrepic. Now, he's by Magli Dioro, right? And we saw Classic Emperor when he came on to the... Uh, he's mm. by the same sire, uh, win most impressively. He's got barrier one, so he, he might get a nice run in there. And, when he did win his race last season, I thought he was quite impressive in traffic. So, mm. what's he come up at? at twenty and five dollars twenty. Yeah. Is yeah. there's plenty of if you don't like the favourite, there's plenty of um, big prices behind him. Well, good companion single figures. It's his first time on the dirt. Yeah. He's come up with a horror draw, um, but a winner this um, this season already. He's obviously uh, a horse of interest as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm happy with the tips I've got. I'm going to stick around the favourites. But you're right. Yeah. Could all go sour for them, and then it's quite open. Yeah. Outside of that, I think we've got it covered, though. Uh, joyful Moments, he's been pretty consistent. Um, he's behind Big Time Babe. There's nothing wrong with that run last time. No, it? it was a good run, and he looked like he was going to get third all the way down the straight. He ended up just uh, finishing in fourth. Matthew Poon will take the seven pounds off. As Brett said, from Barry Nine, they sort of went back, didn't they, or midfield. From Barry Nine, they, they could easily put the horse into the race and be a little bit more forward. But so, yeah. yeah, it's a good race, this one. There's plenty of options there, I think. I'm waiting for Iron Boy, actually, to go back yeah. to Happy Valley. I think uh, back on the turf at Happy Valley uh, might be uh, his Could be the go for him, yeah. All right, OK, yeah. that's the third of the three races on the all-weather. One more race to go, though. Race number 10, plus all the best bets. That's up next.